The college playing careers of the Saluki basketball assistant coaches are long over. Well, now the SAU staff carries the clipboards and roams the sidelines, except during a lunch hour tradition that shows they can still definitely hoop it up. There's the NBA. And then there's SIU's version of the NBA. I thought it was a joke. I thought, you know, have you heard about the NBA? Of course I heard about the NBA. But this is, uh, it's official. It's New Basketball Association. There's actual jerseys. There's a commissioner. Uh, there's rules. Every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday since the 1970s, a select group of basketball junkies have gathered at SIU Arena for some friendly lunch hour bragging rights. I think it's a chance for, for guys just to come out and, and get a sweat. It, it beats run on a treadmill for 45 minutes during your lunch break. We actually take pride in our play and we try to win and, and it's because and, you know, until we play again, we're going to hear, like today, the black team won. Well, the white team's going to hear that, you know, the black team won two out of three until we get a chance to redeem ourselves. Commissioner Ed Thompson, a double threat, player by lunch, Saluki athletic trainer by afternoon. And fortunately, this commissioner has no problems with his players bringing guns to the workplace. Well, they're all very good, obviously. They're they're. I've actually played in other noon hour games at other universities, but uh, I guarantee you they don't have three, four, sometimes five Division One players playing in their noon hour game. So I'm just lucky to be playing. Currently, all four assistant coaches moonlight in the league, some a little high on their game more than others. I think I'm fun to play with uh, because I get people open. I also bring a, you know, a New York swag, um, a Brooklyn crossover. Uh, to the game. Uh, I hit a couple people with a crossover early on and they respected me ever since. Other coaches like to make player comparisons to their rival league. On the games you got Kevin Dillard and Anthony Book and guys like that but out here you got Joe Dumars and Isaiah Thomas and you know whoever we want to be for that day. This NBA even has its own Kobe. Different spelling. It has its parallels. Um, you know I'm sure uh, people would come out and watch, but we don't, you know, we don't allow people to come in and watch. You know, we don't, it's not about generating revenue. You no, know, we could if we wanted to go global with it. For now, they stick with the 15 or so guys that show up and make the noon hour much more than just about food. Now a look at tonight's Stumper. Today marks the start to Super Bowl week. So in tonight's Stumper, we asked which city has hosted the most Super Bowls. Well, it's kind of a trick question, actually, because Miami and New Orleans have each hosted nine apiece. Of course, Miami hosting another one this week. New Orleans hosts one in 2013. And going back to that story, real quick side note, Ed Thompson, if you went to any of the games last week, you noticed he was sporting a black eye. You didn't see it in that video because he got it, actually, when I was at that game. Oh, uh, wow. So he was uh, sporting a black eye. It's from their pickup basketball games, the Noon Basketball Association. Well, that's good because he's a trainer. He could take care of himself yeah, that way, right? Yeah, it is true. He can take care of the rest of the guys, too, while he's out there. <laughs> All right. Thanks.